Hello there and welcome back. Right now we're talking about creative writing pathway at the University of Reading. I'm Katie, we've already spoken before. I'm Emma. <laughs> and you're a current student. Yeah, I study English literature and creative writing. I'm Rebecca and I'm a part two English literature with creative writing students. So to kick off, could you both tell me and them at home what is the creative writing pathway? What does it involve? So the pathway starts in second year. And from sec in second year and third year, you have to do 40 credits of creative writing, uh, like creative writing modules, um, which is like double the normal amount. Um, yeah. Just, and then you can do a module in your first year as well, where you can just sort of, you can see if you like it, if you're if it's what you're interested in. Um, and then in second year, you can choose to change your degree to make it into the creative writing pathway as well. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're interested in creative writing, what we do here in Reading is you apply to us to do English literature, an all English literature degree. And then when you're here in your first year, if you do a creative writing module, you can then elect to transfer onto a creative writing pathway as part of your degree. So you'll still do English literature modules, but you'll also keep up with the creative writing modules all the way throughout. And then you're both, or you're hoping and you're going to do your dissertation yeah. in creative writing. Yeah. <laughs> Which, so that means it will be a creative piece rather than yeah. text analysis. Yeah. It's a 7,000 word short story, I think, well, if you wanted to yeah. do a short well, story. Like a collection of poetry and then you have to do a 3,000 word critical essay about why you've chosen to write in this way and um, what texts influenced you and things like that. Sounds really exciting, yeah. yeah. So why did you both choose creative writing? Um, I just, I really enjoy writing anyway. And I did the part one module and I just decided that it was for me. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I decided to do part one. Same sort of thing, really. I've just always enjoyed it. Um, it was part of what made me want to come to Reading because I saw that you could do your dissertation creative writing, which yeah. is something that I thought was really appealing. Um, and I just, yeah, I really enjoyed it, like the module in first year, so I thought I'd carry it on. So tell me about that first year module. Did you both do the yeah. creative writing? Yeah. What, what happened in it? What did you do? So we had to, like, so now we don't have to do all three, like, prose, poetry and dialogue or, like, script or whatever. Right. But in part one, we had to do all three, um, which I think was good because then you could just, like, kind of test the waters and all. Yeah, yeah. Areas, and so. expand what you've done yeah, before. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then you had workshops where you would submit your work online before the seminar and then everyone would read it and then they'd give their feedback in their workshop. So everyone reads the work that you've done. Yeah. Was that daunting? A little bit. Yeah. 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 But yeah. I think everyone, because everyone has to do it, yeah. you know, everyone's quite nice. Constructive as well, but... Yeah, no one's ever horrible. <laughs> no. I can imagine being in a seminar yeah. with you two, no one would be horrible. <laughs> everyone finds something good to say. Yeah, maybe, exactly. so. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's daunting, but I think you've also got to think that you know my work's going to be better than what it is now. Exactly. So that, yeah, that's my mindset with it. And the teaching staff are so helpful as well because you're being yeah. taught by people who really you get the impression they really know what they're talking about. Yes. So it's so constructive to have that sort of professional yeah. input yeah. on your work it's as just well. Make, it's just an improvement, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it just happens. And the staff aren't there, a lot of them are published authors yeah. or writers, yeah. poets. Yeah, they definitely anyway. know what they're talking about. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really quite inspiring to learn from people yeah. who've done it and they've been there. So. Like, they've always got something as well. Like I find that whenever I'm giving feedback on some people's work, I'm like, oh, I don't know, it's just really good. But like the, the teacher's always like, oh, I think you could do this, this, and this. Like they've always got. Things you didn't even think yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And it's always really helpful. So, and making you think about it in different yeah, ways. Exactly. Because yeah. yeah. I think sometimes when you produce something, you're reading it and you think, oh, well, that's, that's it. That's you can't yeah. it exactly. from another angle. And I think like, being able to give feedback to other people's work um, helps you with your own writing as well. So, like being able to look from those different angles definitely yeah. helps. Yeah. So, as well as that, what other techniques are taught to you? Um, well, I found this year in particular, just like how important the character, like the character is over plot. So if you're one of those people that doesn't really, um, you feel like you can't really think of a plot or you're not that imaginative or whatever, I'm definitely one of those people. Um, we were taught like this technique to build character, which is just like think of 10 hobbies that your character would have and then think of 10 favourite songs and like their favourite place and like where they grew up and things like that. Just like try and plan out every single aspect of their life that normally a plot would Yes, from that. so like, yeah, that was def that was something that we were encouraged to do when thinking of characters. Yeah, if you're saying, oh, where their favourite song is that, 
well yeah. why oh because yeah, exactly. they used to do this and yeah. they saw this person this song was playing that yeah, kind of exactly. thing as well yeah. i think i one of the main things that i've sort of taken from it was the importance of revising your work because i would quite often i'd write yeah. something and i'd be like okay that's fine that's done we'll <laughs> yeah, leave it at that it but <laughs> no exactly but the importance of just coming back to it even completely taking it apart and starting yeah. again can be so helpful in producing yeah. the best piece of work and like sometimes even when you think you've thought of like the best line or the best sentence ever, sometimes it just really doesn't help you. You've just got to really be like really brutal with yourself. Yeah. yeah. That was one of the things we were told. <laughs> That's <laughs> been quite hard yeah. coming to terms with that. When but you think you've written something amazing. I think the finished outcome is definitely worth it. Though. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Learning that refining process yeah. and the way through. So what advice would you give to somebody who perhaps is interested in creative writing? Um, definitely do the part one module because you don't have to do the pathway afterwards if you don't want to, mm -hmm. or like carry on any modules after. Um, but if you're interested, definitely do it at part one, because then you can just kind of see. It's the year, yeah. 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 And first year doesn't count your degree either, yeah. so it's yeah. a really good time so to just try just things. Experiment. Yeah, I think that's true for everything. At all universities, you have to get 40% to pass onto your second year. We'd obviously advise you work harder <laughs> to get 40%. But it means, you know, you can explore new areas, try something. If it doesn't work out, it's not the end of the world. I always think of it as a bit of a honeymoon period. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. sort of, it's sort of dating before you get married kind of thing, <laughs> yeah. before you really commit yeah. to it. Really <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys write in your free time yeah. as well? Yeah. Like, yeah. You're encouraged <laughs> to write quite a lot and just, I don't know, one of the things that we got told, I don't know about you, but in first year was to have a little almost diary or notepad with you just so... I don't know, inspiration comes in the strangest of places Definitely. sometimes. Like, so. I'll be at work and I'll be like, oh, just thought something. So yeah. I'll like, <laughs> write it down. And then, like, make yeah. the customers wait. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely, like, if you think of something, just write it down so you remember it for later. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I think that's definitely something yeah. that I always do. <laughs> yeah. What's been your favourite writing or piece you've ever done? Uh, because you think it's an amazing project yeah. or you've learnt so much from doing I it? Think the piece that I'm most proud of was one I did this year, my short story. Yeah, I think I, I am quite proud of it. Um, I got really good feedback from it and I really tried to take it on board. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it has paid off a little bit. So we'll see. The will outcome. we see the it final published? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. We <laughs> have, uh, do we have a creative writing anthology? Here oh, at yeah. Reading, or you, you can... know, I only found out about that this year, um, so I was too late to publish anything. But yeah, I definitely did. Yeah, yeah. 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 you've got the work already done. Yeah, <laughs> what about you, Rebecca? Um, I'd say last year the sort of poetry that I created because I'd never really written poetry before. Mm. It wasn't before coming to uni anyway. I didn't really have an interest yeah. in poetry. Um, but in terms of like doing the module of actual learning about other people's poetry, I really enjoyed that. And then I found that that really helps with my own writing. Yeah, so I was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I was really proud of that because it was something that uh, I'd never done before. But yeah. I did relatively well on in the assessment, and yeah. yeah, it's just something new. So that was really exciting. Great. Thank you both very much. Thank you. Okay, so let's answer <laughs> some of your questions about um, persuasive, not persuasive writing, <laughs> creative writing. <laughs> Um, if you've got any questions, leave them below and we'll get back to you about them. Thanks very much. Thank Bye. You. Bye. <laughs>